hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i have my girl cameron here i'm gonna be doing her makeup um she's yeah my client for today so i'm starting off with her brows and i use the makeup revolution uh brow pomade in dark brown and i also filled it in with the mac um brow pencil in um spiked and then i used the la girl pro concealer in fawn to uh, carve out her brows and also um act as a base for her um eyeshadow and i think fawn went really well with her skin tone and all that good stuff um also i'm gonna have everything that i use down below now as far as brushes i used all morphe brushes besides the uh real technique brushes and um the urban decay naked palette brush which is in my hand in my other hand so i'm just tapping that out with this morphe i think it's a concealer brush i can't think of the numbers but i will put them down below if i have time to so then i just set that with some powder and now I'm applying her primer. So since she's oily, I'm using the um, Fenty Beauty primer. And then I go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And y'all know I love my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Um, but I'm just putting that on her with a MAC brush. I don't know what that one's called either, but. Yeah, I used the Fenty all around her face and then on her nose or her T-zone area, I used the um, Rimmel London one it's because she's oily. So, yeah, I was going to speed this up, but uh, I think I like it in normal mode or whatever. So then I went into the Juvia's Place The Warrior 2 palette and I took the shade Jamata. Jamata. Um, it's like a, a maroon-ish shade and i tap that into her crease and she has a lot of lid space which i really liked and i liked it a little too much which y'all will see why i liked it a little too much but i just tapped that into her crease um first and then i went into my um what's that little girl name my morphe and jaclyn hill palette and i think it's the shade butter don't quote me on it but i took that one it's like a light brown like a cream shade and i just blended that out uh the jamada shade out with that shade um on top as like i guess her transition shade or whatever um and i went in with little by little now i packed on the maroon shade just to make sure that we would have some color there and then i would just go in with the other shade and then i would go back and forth back and forth and just made sure that it was blended seamlessly so that's what i did don't know what that brush is called but like i said i will have um the brushes um in the down bar if i get around to it <laughs> so yeah <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry I keep getting in the way of the camera, and here comes my big old head again. Um, but I just want to show you guys how I blended out the shades. I did it in circular motions, and then I went in with like a clean brush that had no product on it, and um, blended it out a little bit more. So, just so y'all would know to blend the color some more. So then, um, after I did that, I went ahead and I cut her crease. Now, this is why I said I got a little happy with her lid space because I did overcut one of her eyes. Um, but it's okay because I was just doing this for fun and um, we always talk about makeup and stuff. So, I figured why not? Um, plus, I like her eyes. So, yeah. Uh, but I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't know the shade, but it was really, really light. 
I just can't remember the shade, but it'll be down below. So, yeah. Um, so then uh, I set that with the Sasha Buttercup translucent setting powder, which is the white one. Bet y'all didn't know they had a white one. <laughs> well, they do. And then I went into um, back into the Warrior Two palette and took that white shade called Zazz um, and put that all over her lid, all, all over her cut crease area if you know what I'm saying um and then after that I went into I you didn't go into anything I used my MAC brush stroke black liner and did a thin line no I didn't I'm lying I forgot um I went in with the transition shade and the and the maroon and put those on the outer sides of the um cut crease so it will blend back into the shadow and then after that I went in with um, the liner <laughs> I did like a half liner thing um, I was gonna do like a whole wing but then I was like uh, no no not gonna do that um, so yeah I did like a half liner and I did the liner before I did like the rest of her eyeshadow and you'll see why because this liner does not dry matte that's the only thing I don't like about it. But I went into the Warrior eyeshadow palette by them and took the shade More Me. More, More Me. Um, and I took a fluffy brush and tapped that shimmer all over her eye. And then I went back into the Warrior 2 palette and took the black shade in that palette. Don't know. The, the color is like Shwata. And I tapped it on there. Now for skin, um, I use the Makeup Revolution conceal and define foundation and it looked fabulous i used the shade f13 which y'all know i love this she is lighter than me but this really came together on her face and i just buffed that out with a morphe brush so yeah So after I buffed that all in, I went into the uh, Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle to contour her face. And I used this. I didn't want to give her such a heavy contour, but it looked really good in the end. So I like it. I like it. Um, so I just blended that out with this It Cosmetics uh, Airbrush foundation brush I think that's what it's called um airbrush foundation brush so I did her jawline her forehead and not her jawline uh her cheekbones her forehead and that's it yeah that's it Then I went into the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, uh, and I used that to highlight her face. Didn't give her a dramatic highlight, but she was telling me that she likes a brighter under eye, but I had already put it on there, so that's what we were going in. <laughs> but I'm blending this out with the Real Techniques um, Powder Brush. This is a good brush to blend out your concealer with, I swear, I swear. I swear and I noticed I didn't put it up under her eye directly like you usually would because you want to blend it up and out and down if that makes sense to get the best coverage and all that good stuff um so then I did her chin and then I did her nose and her forehead and lit them up had to light it up light it up um after that I just set her face so I set her face using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder um, in a sponge. Um, yeah, 
uh on that side i kind of like messed up I'm, I'm pointing out all my imperfections but i don't really care because makeup is like something i like to do and each day i'm learning so uh now i know don't cut a bigger eye shape so so wide stuff like that don't set a face like that i know not to set a face like that don't know how or why i did that but yeah so i'm just learning y'all are gonna see everything i barely even cut this video so yeah um then i set her mouth area with the white sasha better buttercup the translucent one because that brightens that area and you know most women of color they have darkness around that area so one it kind of blends in with the rest of the skin and makes it look even if that makes sense instead of darker so yeah now i'm setting her contour and stuff with the Too faced chocolate soleil matte bronzer and i love it then i'm spraying her face with the morphe continuous setting spray the d slick setting spray by um what's those people urban decay and then i'm applying this blush by nyx in the shade feel the heat she said she likes a, a orangey reddish blush so i went for that then under her eyes i went in with the maroon shade and the tan shade and i put those both underneath her eyes i started off with the maroon and then smudged on the tan and then um yeah that's the tan that's the shade right there in the palette underneath the first shade <laughs> it's a little too late to be saying that but that's the shade oh yeah and i applied lashes i totally forgot about that so yeah then i went back into uh, the Juvia's Place palette and use Schwata and put that as like her liner. I didn't want to use liner because on her waterline because um, I don't like doing that. I feel like I always poke somebody when I don't, but I'm still worried. So then for her lips, I went into the House of Arouse. Ar Arouse. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I will clear it. Um, lip glosses and these glosses have numbers can't remember the numbers but i'll put them down below y'all need to go check them out y'all check them out they're so nice glosses but i'm not going to continue to talk about them in this video i have a whole dedicated video for them glosses y'all so stay tuned for that but i just did her a simple neutral lip that um would go along fine with the whole thing you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying and then I went into her highlight and I applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Sun Dipped and I used the shade Bronze and the other shade, I think it's like Sun Kissed or something like that. I used both of those because we wanted Sis to glow and Sis wanted to glow from within. So I just highlighted the high points of her face and stuff like that, cheekbones, forehead, the chin the nose we was really out here gleaming okay all right so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoy this video check cameron out check out the glosses and don't forget to look at my last video like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye